Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the month of September. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Taurus, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to look at your challenge for the month of September, and we're going to look at what you don't see coming for the month of October. Okay, your challenge for September is the Seven of Wands and what you don't see coming, the moon. All right. All right, Taurus. Okay, so let's start off with your challenge. So your challenge is the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Wands for me is a, it's a card of uh, having a lot going on, right? really just you know it's almost like everybody wants your attention everybody wants your time you know there's a you know there's this going on there's that going on there's you know there's a lot going on and your biggest challenge is going to be how can i say this in the most simplest terms i'm going to make it very simple for you because i i like to simplify things it makes life easier Seven of Wands is almost like a declutter energy for me, okay? Intuitively, I'm getting that for you. There's a lot going on, but the question you need to ask yourself, Taurus, is what's really important to me? What's really important to my goals? What's really important to the things that I want to achieve? Because let's face it, only one person can do so much, okay? So it's almost like you have all these responsibilities, obligations, there's only so much time. And your biggest challenge is gonna have a lot to do with maybe limiting certain uh, activities, limiting certain things, and really choosing what the best things are, okay? And this is a part of you getting closer and closer to the things that you want to achieve, the things that you want to do in your life. So we're gonna clarify the seven of wands. We're gonna see more about what it is that you need to know about your challenge, how this ties into your life, and what you should do in order to overcome this challenge, okay? Now let's talk about the recent past. In the recent past, you have the death, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. I do feel very strongly that this in the recent past has a lot to do with a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I'm also getting a Scorpio here. Could also be another earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Something here in the past took a very long time to manifest, okay? A very long time to uh, to come together with a specific person. I do feel there was an ending here in the past, okay? And this could have had a lot to do with the fact that you were taking your time, uh, maybe taking this person up on their offer. Either way, you were not on the same page as someone here in the past, okay? Somebody here was moving way too slow. They weren't taking action. Uh, while the other person was super passionate. It's like, let's go, I'm ready to go. I want this, I wanna do this. This is what I want, right? Uh, so in the recent past, there was a major transition, a major change that was taking place for you. And this change, this transition, I feel like a lot of you, if this was you and you were taking your time and you weren't in a rush here in the past to take somebody up on their offer, the reason why you may have decided to take your time on this situation is because you were afraid of, uh, of something here maybe not working out, or maybe you were going through some sort of change or transition and you weren't quite ready to take on this opportunity. Even if this isn't about love, this could have a lot to do with simply taking on an opportunity connected to your career. But either way, you went through some sort of major ending here in the past, a transition, transition or change, and it took you some time to maybe take action towards something here that created a lot of passion for you, okay? And again, I keep getting a relationship or a person that was really gung-ho about you, um, or this could have been you. You could have simply been very interested in someone, but they were taking too long, and you said, you know what, sorry, you're taking way too long, I got stuff to do, okay? So this is what I see happened here in the past. Now, in the present moment, you have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Magician. What I'm really strongly getting for you, Taurus, in the present moment with the High Priestess, 
The high priestess, she is very intuitive. She is very spiritual. She is very connected to what is happening in the spiritual realm. And what's happening in the spiritual realm is for many of you, there is a very strong connection here where you're still connected to a specific person. Some of you are manifesting this person or you're manifesting an opportunity here in the present moment. It doesn't have to be about love, but for majority of you, this is about love, okay? Also, I'm getting something here about pizza sauce. I don't know why I'm getting that, weird, okay? Sometimes I get foods or um, downloads of certain things connected to that. So page of cups in the present moment, there could be an apology or there could be an offer of love, okay? So either way, um, I'm also getting a message here about some of you meeting someone. Let's say you met somebody, but you never really connected with them, but you regret connecting with them. I feel like there could be possibly a manifestation of you reconnecting with a specific person in the present moment. Could be a Pisces, okay? Sign doesn't really matter, but I'm getting a very strong Pisces energy. All right. So in the present moment, there is a very strong connection. You're manifesting this person or they're manifesting you and it's leading to an offer of love or it could lead to maybe a confession or possibly an apology for some of you. Okay. Um, but either way, there's a strong sense of manifestation creation in the present moment. And again, I like strongly intuitively what I'm getting here is, um, a distant connection. So you could be in love with someone, but you're at a distance, there's a disconnect here. Uh, and there's a desire to maybe confess and say, look, I really want you. I really want to be with you. This is something that I've been feeling for quite some time. It's almost like you or this person can't ignore this feeling anymore. And that's why there's a strong sense of the magician here because the magician is creating. The magician is manifesting things into the physical realm. And the high priestess is very, what? Spiritual. So everything that we create is starting from what? The spiritual realm, the ether, the mind, okay? So, you know, even though you may say to yourself, oh, it's impossible, we're never gonna meet again, or, you know, we might not be together, whatever, everything is starting from the mind. So whatever you're thinking is probably what is being manifested or created in the present moment, okay? And that's something that you should be aware of. Now let's talk about, and in the extended, I'm gonna talk more about this and see uh, the details on all of that. Now in the near future, you have the King of Swords, you have the Three of Cups and you have the Seven of Cups. So in the near future, there's a bit of confusion here, okay? There could either be options or confusion. Now the Seven of Cups for me, it's either one or one of the two. But I'm strongly getting here that there's some sort of confusion because there will be a reconciliation, okay? So this person that you maybe felt in the past, okay, the timing isn't right, you know, um, I'm not ready to commit to you. I'm not, I know you want that with me, but I'm not ready. Uh, there will be an opportunity to come back together with this person. And when you do come back together with this person, there's still this confusion on the table. This person, this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising, they want clarity because in the near future, they've been thinking about you a lot. Now, some of you may say, can the reading be vice versa? Yes, the reading can be vice versa. There's no um, box that energy is put into. Energy can transform and change at any moment. But as I do this reading for you in the near future, closer to the end of September, there's a lot of this thinking. There's a lot of this, um, what about what happened in the past? And because Pluto, which is your ruler of the seventh house, which is Scorpio, Pluto is now retrograded back into Capricorn. So there's some sort of unfinished business. And this is what we're gonna see with a lot of people, a lot of situations in our lives that in order for us to completely move forward, uh, there needs to be clarity. We need to be honest with ourselves. We need to be honest with ourselves and we need to be honest with others about you know, love, about um, our intentions, the things that we want and the things that we don't want. So in the near future, it's almost like somebody here wants clarity on whether or not you want this with them. Do you really want this with me? Or is that, you know, is this just a game? Uh, do you love me? Or is this just a game? Are you serious about this project? Or is it just a game? There's a lot of mental energy here in the near future as well as emotions. And the emotions are heightened here, especially around the full moon. Uh, whatever sign the full moon is in, in September, um, this is really going to make a big impact. 
um, on, you know, your life in general. So what you don't see coming, you have the moon. Yeah. There's something here in the month of October that still seems uncertain. And this is you, you, you know, you're in this place of overthinking something or being emotionally connected to something. And it's taken quite some time. What is happening in October is there's this uncertainty about love. Should I accept this person? Are they going to accept me? Do they love me? Do they not? It's a big, it's a battle here in the near future in, in October. Um, and of course, in the extended, we're going to find out why all this is happening, but either way, this is coming to the surface. And I definitely feel like there's some sort of unfinished business here. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading helped in the extended. I'm going to clarify all the cards, give you some advice. Thank you so much for tuning into this and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.